Hi, this is Teo from Pugablogs.com. In 12 hours time, I will be on a plane to Australia. It's a 10 day sketching trip. I'll be visiting Melbourne and Sydney. That's about 4 days in Melbourne and 6 days in Sydney. I'll be going with my girlfriend. It's sort of a sketching trip where I'll be driving, sketching in Melbourne and then walking and sketching in Australia. Let me show you the things I'm going to bring, the art material. So the first thing is the sketchbook. This is a custom made sketchbook that I made with the Society of Physical Disabled in Singapore. I passed them some Fabriano artistico paper and they bind it into a sketchbook like this. It's very high quality. The paper is 300 GSM. I bought a pad of I think 20 sheets and they were able to create four sketchbook out of the, the pad of 20 sheets it's those large sheets uh, large pads so they cut it out and then bind it into a sketchbook there are 40 pages I hope I can fill them up during my 10 days of holiday in Australia so so that I can show you something when I'm back this is the giant clip very useful Of course my watercolor palette. This is the Daniel Smith watercolor palette. I've already revealed this in a separate video so you might want to look for that. Uh, I've already topped up all the paints. But just in case I also bring in a small tube of French Ultramarine because I like that color and once when I was in Bali, Indonesia, I ran out of French Ultramarine. So this time around I'm going to bring a backup tube just in case. This is the water brush, the small portable travel water, watercolor brush. This is Da Vinci Series 1503. It's a Kolinsky travel brush, so I put that in my travel box. An ink bottle that is now empty. I feel, I'm going to fill this with water so that I can wash my brush. These are my pens that I'm going to bring, the Duke 209. This is a Fude nib pen, so the nib is bent at the tip. It's very cheap, I think it's only under $20. Then I have my favorite pen currently, the Pelican M200. It has a huge ink reservoir, so I don't have to refill this pen as often. And the nib is sort of a springy nib so when I press hard I can get thicker lines. All those are actually reviewed in a sep in separate videos and a white gel pen so I can create highlights easily and then a backup pen. This is the Uniball Vision Needle. It's waterproof. All the ink that I bring is waterproof so and then I have an ink bottle. This is a Pelican Font India ink bottle but inside I have replaced it with Noodleless Bulletproof Black Ink which is waterproof. The reason why I use this bottle is because it's plastic and they have a dropper, not that I'm going to use it but it's very light, compact and because it's plastic I think there's some leeway when you are bringing it on the plane. Because of the plane pressure sometimes the ink can get, how shall I say, get forced out of the pens or from your ink bottle. So for a plastic bottle there is not going to be any problem. I've brought this bottle on many trips, countless trips and it works, it still works. This is the same bottle that I've used for many years. And last but not least, I have this stool here. I think in a separate video I showed you a stool that has a blue canvas. This one is the one that I bought recently with a black canvas. The difference is well, for this stool here, they have parallel stitching here and then they have perpendicular stitching here. So it's a bit more durable than the one, the blue canvas stool, which looks exactly the same except for the canvas. But this one is a bit more durable. I think it can hold up to maybe 680 kg. You can buy this on eBay, it's under $20. It's very cheap as well. So this is quite essential. And of course, the last thing is the, is the hat. Of course, you need the hat. If it's going to be very shiny, it's going to be very bright. 
So that's it for my sketching materials that I'm going to bring to Australia. I hope to do some good sketches there and then come back and show you guys. If you have any questions about the materials, uh, just feel free to comment in the comment section right below the video description. Some of those items I have already reviewed them, so I'll post a link to every single item that I have reviewed, so you can check them out separately as well. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so for more sketching tips, techniques, sketchbook features, or product reviews. Thanks and have a nice day. See you next. See you ten days later.